Okay, so there's this thing that I think that I should do because I'm getting a lot of this uh, inquiry, okay? Uh, and I feel that every buyer should understand this. Okay, let's go. Okay, so as a buyer, every time you think about buying a property, right, you will come up with a list. Like, oh, how much, uh, where, which location, how many bedrooms, how big, and all these things. But a lot of times, uh, a lot of times, I realize that this list that a lot of buyers come up with is very big, is very wide, and you as a buyer don't know that, you know. So a lot of buyers, they send me emails, they send me SMS, they send me message, giving me a very long list of their requirement, and to be frank, I don't really look into that. Because so far, so far, I haven't talked to a buyer that after talking to me in pre-consultation, they still send me back that list. Because this is not how you look at property. Okay, so I'm going to explain to you why you don't do that. Okay, the reason is because first of all, when, okay, at least uh, I will say that this is for me and it works and a lot of my buyers understand and they agree and they end up finding the place that they like and, and they want, you know. So I always ask them, first of all, why are you buying the property? What do you want to buy and why do you want to buy? What objective do you want to achieve? So I have this buyer that calls me and says that hey, they are below 35, they cannot buy HDB, so they want to buy a one bedder condo. So I'm telling her that yes, sure, this is your requirements, let's put it aside first. First of all, you're buying a one bedder condo. Do you know that one bedder doesn't really earn money from records? And also, at a budget of let's say 700,000, you may not get a good unit. Okay, and sometimes you realize that the lease that you guys give is so wide that let's say the property here and the property here, the difference can be easily two, three hundred thousand to two, three million. So the per square feet can also be different. The per square feet over here can be like thousand five, and the per square feet over here is two thousand five. It's like your range is so wide. You, sh you have like 100 over choices, okay? I can tell you the truth, nobody buy properties by viewing 100 over units. So the right way to do is, first of all, I will always ask the customer, why do you want to buy? And if they say they want to buy a one beta and all these things, I will tell them what's the problem, what's the risk, are you correct or not, what kind of thinking you should be going through. And a lot of times after you go through a thinking, then you ask yourself, do you really still want to move forward with this step, okay? Because after you think, then you have to prioritize your location. I can tell you that one single estate or one single district is already very, very big. The number of units that you can view is already a lot. And after you view some of the units here, you take reference, you may not even want to buy. Because after you view, you will think that hey, the layout here is not good. The layout in this district is not good. The price point is a little bit high. The per square fee is high. The maintenance fee is high. I cannot find something good. Then you will jump to your second choice. So you got to, to me, I call it a funnel effect. You got to know, um, of course, how to do it. You know, uh, I cannot really help you, like, like share with you everything that we I do, but... This is what we do. We prioritize first. We go from choice one to second choice to third choice. Then we help the buyer understand every single choices. What is the difference? What should they buy? Um, why are they buying? Are they correct? Are they ready for this market? You know, because a lot of people do not understand that today in the market, right, there is not enough units for you to view. Okay, so even you are a buyer, you may not find one week. Maybe you find two, one unit. Or maybe in, <coughs> in the one month, you only find one unit. But is the market like this in 2017, 2016, 2015? The market is not like this. In, in 2016, 2015, 2017, you know, in the other years, maybe one week you can view three to four units. Now one month or two weeks, you only can view one unit. So the supply and demand in the market keep changing. The curve keep moving. So like in a lot of videos, I already say this is because now it's currently due to COVID. That's why the, sh the shift is there. And also due to COVID, you realize that in resale market, the per square feet price for bigger units are getting higher than the per square feet price in smaller units. Normally, in the normal market terms, you will know that the per square feet price for smaller units are actually higher. But now it's in the opposite. Okay, will it continue to be like that after COVID or when COVID end? Nobody knows because again, nobody knows when COVID will end. So, I I I just want to let a lot of buyers understand that you don't go just 
coming up with a list there is a lot of understanding a lot of um, a lot of speed up in, 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 the, in choosing your units of course if you are alone and you didn't engage an agent then you may need to spend a lot of time doing trial and error uh, viewing here viewing there and try to understand it yourself but for me when I help buyers we help them quicken their process we help them understand better a lot of things they do not need to view to understand a lot of things before they view we already help them understand this understand that understand the concept uh, what kind of problems will they meet are they comparing apple to apple are they comparing the correct properties so a good gauge i would say that is if you already know what you want to buy actually the property range that you will be comparing is less than 20 units if you are comparing 50 to 100 units then i would say that you are still lost you're still in the wrong position and you will never get a house okay so that's it for the video i hope this helps the buyers and because i can tell you that every single buyer when they come to me they send me a big list and i don't know how to explain that hey sorry your list doesn't work so i thought of doing this video so that i explain it so that next time when a buyer call me i will also send them the video so that they understand this okay and know uh, what and how i can help them okay so that's it for today's video. Hit the like button, subscribe button. See you in the next episode. And bye bye.